Flew. I'm Donald Dumstetter, director of the Extreme Light Laboratory, and I'm also a professor here at the Physics and Astronomy Department at the University of Nebraska. Here at the Extreme Light Laboratory, we study the interactions of ultra-intense laser light with matter. We focus our laser to high intensity using this off-axis parabola. It was actually invented by a Greek mathematician back in the second century BC named Diocles. Ultra-high peak power lasers are leading to new avenues of research and development. We start with some unique instrumentation, which in our case is the ultra-high peak power laser light and ultra-short pulse duration. This has led to new science, which is the study of relativistic interactions of that light with matter, and has now led to new technologies, such as tabletop electron accelerators and tabletop X-ray sources. That is leading to new applications such as radiation reaction, X-ray radiography, and ultrafast X-ray science. The Diocles laser system produces ultra-high peak power and relativistic intensity light. The way it works is we start with a very short pulse, femtosecond in duration. We then stretch it in time, amplify it, and then after it's been amplified through all of its amplification stages, we compress it with a pulse compressor, producing a petawatt of peak power. This is the high energy stage of the Diocles laser system, where we amplify light from the millijoule level up to the 30 joule level to produce petawatt peak power. This research is leading to new scientific discoveries. For instance, we're now studying experimentally theories for the radiation reaction force. The research is also leading to new technology. For instance, we're developing miniature particle accelerators and laser-like x-ray sources. This research is also leading to improved applications. In order to develop these new applications further, we built a new laser lab called the Archimedes Lab, which has a laser which has a much shorter pulse duration and much higher average power. robotic gantry which we're using to make very precise particle detectors. This is an example of one of our finished products. We're making roughly 500 of these and we'll tile them into the, the fan-shaped detector which we're going to install in Geneva, Switzerland. But we're also going to be able to use it at the Extreme Light Core facility here on campus to detect the ionizing radiation and x-rays uh, produced by the accelerator. Um, in Don's facility, and we're very excited about this new uh, collaboration between Don's group and our high energy physics group. Yes, now we're going to visit Professor Martin Centurion's lab. Hello, follow me and I'll show you the experiment. So what we do here is we generate very short pulses of electrons and we use that to look at the structure of molecules for very short uh, time scales and what we want to do is use the Archimedes laser to make even shorter courses that will allow us to look on shorter time scales. So here's our current experiment and here's where we uh, take our data. Hello. Well, I'm building an, I'm trying to build an extremely compact X-ray undulator source that is driven by the Diocles laser. And oh, I have actually a component here that I can show you that will go into the, um, into the laser. So here's, for example, here's a magnetic lens that is a key component for this undulator source to, to, 
to um, manipulate the electron beam um, that we will use in this X-ray source. So here is where the highly energetic electrons exit the chamber and we will use our lens to focus the electron beam into our undulator which will be roughly here and it's an undulator that's specifically designed for the experiments here at UNL.